Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Peep Squad is in the building, baby. So let's get into this situation. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Let's talk about Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Allegedly, they are going to be going through a divorce. Sources close to both of the entertainers basically went to the blogs to drop a dime and say that they are getting a divorce imminent. It is happening. Like, what? What is going on with this situation? Also, the sources close to Kim and Kanye basically are saying that they are fighting over their Calabasas home because it's worth millions millions 40 million dollars plus more and they spend so much money on the renovations kim kardashian wants the calabasas home and they are saying that kanye west is holding on to it even though kim kardashian owns all the property surrounding their calabasas home but kanye west owns the home and he did a lot of extravagant renovations and it is being called the oasis of all homes in Calabasas. Lord have mercy, it is going down. But as you guys know, Kanye West has been out here on Twitter. And he has a lot of things to say. He said he's been trying to divorce Kim when she met with Meek Mills at the Waldorf Hotel for prison reform. Mm, mm, mm. And also, you know, Drake has been taking shots at Kim Kardashian, alleging that he might have had some intimate, you know, things going on with Kim. And Kanye West is not feeling that situation. But as you guys know, Drake and Kim are good friends. But the word on the street is Kanye West been tired. Kanye West wants to go. That's why he's all the way in Wyoming. He wants to get far, far away from the Kardashians, Kim, Kris Jenner, all of them. He just wants to get away. He has had an awakening. He has had an epiphany. And the lifestyle that he lived with Kim Kardashian is not the lifestyle that he wants or represents at one point in time in his life. He was okay with everything that Kim did. He was okay with wanting to get ratings for keeping up with the Kardashians and doing anything and everything. He was okay with all that. He was okay with her showing every inch of her body. He was okay with, you know, her sex tapes out there. He was okay. He just loved her. And it seems like Kanye West loved Kim Kardashian with all his heart. And he is heartbroken because of the cheating allegations. And he believes that she cheated on him. And there's no rumors out here that Kanye West cheated on Kim Kardashian. Now there's a new rumor that people allege that Kanye West was, you know, in a relationship with Jeffree Star. Like that is bogus. That is fugazi. And it's not true. I don't believe an ounce or a lick or any of that situation. But it seems like Kanye West is ready. He's ready to change. Like he, he was into, he was like. The greatest hip-hop producer ever, producer, musician, rap artist, just putting together music. And it's just like his creativity done died down for a long time while he was with Kim Kardashian. And then he came to God. He came to Jesus. That's how bad it is with the Kardashians family where Kanye West is Jesus. He got a church. He is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus all day, every day. His album is Jesus. He's telling people that if you're working on my project, you cannot be fornicating. You cannot be having sex. You can't be doing this. You can't be doing that because he clearly wants purity around him. And you guys also know that Kanye West feels a certain type of way when it comes to, you know, Kris Jenner and his children. And one of the things that he said that he is tired of Kris Jenner having Playboy photo shoots for children. So he's basically concerned and worried about his children and the image that is put out there with his daughter and his children. He doesn't want them to be in makeup. He doesn't want them to show their body. He don't want them to be grown before their time. And with a mother like Kim Kardashian, they would be out here on a stroll. If you leave it up to Kim and you leave it up to Grandma Ma, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a situation. And he did anything and everything he could possibly do to get rid of Kim out of his life. He done signed over a lot of his businesses and a lot of, you know, um, 
shares in his business to Kim Kardashian because he loved her. And he even appeared on TV with her and brung the Kim Kardashian show all the way up to the top, having Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, the greatest hip-hop mogul in history, sneaker uh, maker, fashion designer on your show, having and having that access to Kanye West and his children. You know, he did a lot to help her. You know, and she may have helped his image maybe a little bit. I don't know, but I know he helped her and I know he turned over a lot of shares of his business to Kim Kardashian. And all he asked in return was like, can we start with this reality TV? This reality TV stuff is too much. The show is ratchet, is ignorant, you know, it doesn't educate, it doesn't save people, it doesn't help people. And we got these cameras filming and whatever they portray with the cameras with E, you know, it's too much. And he didn't want to be on the show no more. He finally just put his foot down, you know, and... um. It is what it is with that situation. It's like Kanye West wants out. He been wanting out for a long time. He wants to get rid of Kim Kardashian. But also, he's also kind of afraid too as well. Because he goes, you know, Chris Jenner is like Chris, I mean, John Un, whatever his name is. And so, you know, he's basically saying that, you know, Chris Jenner, she's like a dictator. You know, he called her racist. He called her a whole bunch of things. And that's not something a mentally ill person does. That's somebody that does that knowing what's going on and what's around him. He called, you know, Chris Jenner a militia. He called them all types of names. And then on top of that, he said, they're going to try to kill me like they killed Michael Jackson, like they killed Prince. Michael Jackson tried to warn y'all. So this is a battle. This is a real battle that Kanye West is going through to get away from them, them, them court. Kardashians because Kanye West been a mill ticket for a long time his image you know whether he's good or bad whether it looks like he's having a breakdown whether it looks like you know he's defaming a black community they have made money off of it their show has got even popular off of it and we know the Kardashians has set up many of their ex-husbands and their boyfriends with the cameras to set them up to make them look like monsters and it seems like this is what is trying to go on with this situation why people are saying and putting out shit on TikTok that Kanye West is with Jeffree Star that is bogus and fugazi all day every day and it seems like, you know, Kim Kardashian has also had a change of heart in life too, where she wants to be an attorney, where she wants to run for president, like all this crazy shit that she want to do, not knowing that she's, she's been the biggest bottom, you know, destruction to all communities since she's been on TV, her and some of her sisters, you know, the, the plexus surgery, the just looking good, the just being on Instagram and all these other people have followed the Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian and Kardashians, you know, way of life, trying to look like them, trying to imitate them, trying to get the butt job, the nose job, the face job, you know, trying to show that they're fabulous lifestyle, nothing else to the Kardashians. Finally, Kim Kardashian is trying to do something good and release people from prison and commute sentences. You know, that is good. But for the rest of the year, she ain't been nothing but a, a, a street walker. Um, her family been nothing but stealing from the black community. You know, when it comes to hairstyles, when it comes to clothing, when it comes to so many different stuff, they just still rip off people. How many times have you heard about the Jenners and the Kardashians being, you know, sued for ripping off, stealing this, stealing that from that person? You know, they have done so much that Kanye West really feels like he married into the devil. He married into a demonic situation. And order for him to survive, he had to move to Wyoming. And the wit and how Kanye West compound is placed is like northeast, west, south. And it's like his compound's in the middle where like, you know, it's something really um spiritual about how his compound is built, where it's placed, you know, and everything because of his protection. He needs to help. And he said, I hope they don't kill me like they kill Michael Jackson and Prince. He is, he's looking for help. He's looking for a way out. And he's been looking for a way out. If he have to embarrass Kim, the Kardashians, the Jenners, do anything to make them turn their nose up, that seems like what Kanye West is going to do. 
he wants out and it seems like he want kim kardashian to actually file the paperwork maybe there's something behind that but he said he wanted out for a long time and he wants his children to be protected he don't want them to be idolized or you know until they're adults until they're ready he don't want the cameras all up in them he don't want his children you know to be sacrificed for entertainment and money to build up the jenner and the kardashian you know reputation and their money and basically reigning over all reality tv he's done he is done he is out and kim kardashian just has to live with the situation and i feel like kim kardashian feels like you know maybe kanye west changed on her he want to get religious he don't want to be on tv he was down for all the ratchetness i was doing he was down with my ghetto ignorant wild nasty you know self he was down with all that he loved it you know he lost friendships over our relationship he posted me everywhere he wanted to be on instagram he wanted to be on tv with me he wanted the cameras to flash with me and now he has changed on me so she's feeling a certain type of way too and i don't think there's anything that she can do to get him back it has to be him you know figuring out a way he can save his marriage if he even wants to save his marriage because this could all be rumors you know they're saying that kim kardashian hired an attorney you know laura wazer but she has always been kim kardashian's attorney and she's always been on retainer since kim kardashian got a divorce from chris humphrey so therefore it's not like she hired a new divorce attorney or anything else like that um laura has always been on retainer so you guys let me know what you think about this situation but it seems like kanye west is fed up and he has an epiphany he has woken up and he wants to change and he realized that he have, may have done a lot of damage you know, and the media whipped Kim Kardashian with the Kardashians and the Jenners. And he's trying to really turn that around. And that's why he's with Jesus now. This is why his music is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus now. Because he realized the error in his ways. But he loves his children and he wants to protect them at the same time. But he's trying to protect himself and his mind. And... When Kanye West wanted, you know, Kim Kardashian to move to Chicago, she was like, hell no. Um, she wouldn't follow him to Wyoming. She stayed where she wanted to stay. And it seems like Kanye West gave a whole lot more to Kim. And Kim did not give a whole lot back to Kanye West. She felt like she was a trophy. And she helped elevate him. And she had his baby. So, therefore, he should follow her. Not her follow him. So, you guys tell me what you think. This is only an opinion. And everybody has opinions. They are like assholes. <laughs>